Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with um, May's layout um, share. I'm a little couple days behind. I've been started a new job, so I've been really busy. Sorry if my voice is raspy. It's kind of early in the morning. So I'm going to share with you um, what I made. I don't remember. I don't know how many layouts there are here, but I'm just going to go with it. So some, uh, most of these, are half of these are for um, kit challenges for a scrapbook. National Scrapbook Day, but I don't remember because there were I did challenges from different um, Facebook groups and stuff. So I'm going to start with this one. I did that one. I think this one was a, for a hip kit, um, and I did win a prize from the hip kit. I won a ten dollar gift card for this one. I fussy cut all these flowers. These items were made for my um, my April, I believe, hip kit. So that was for a challenge. For fussy cutting and this one was also for a challenge for the hip kit also and this was using my kit also I think this was my um, April February and April kit I believe and then so this one is a double page this is one half of it and then this is another half I believe this layout it was um, used with um I made put together a beach kit in uh, a couple months ago and this was one of the layouts that I used uh, made with that kit it was a homemade kit so that's that this one I believe this was made with my homemade beach kit also and I do um, I do have a video on that if you want to check it out So that's that. I fussy cut these flowers. This was also, um, I used my kit, I believe. And these are, um, a lot of these projects are, I mean, products are from um, Paper House Productions. This one. Um, I'm trying to remember if this was a challenge. I I know this paper is from Amy Tangerine. I'm not sure. I think it might have been from my kit. I think this was from my kit. So, and then this one. I'm not sure. It might have been from my kit, but I don't remember. I think it was. And then I know this one was from my kit. This is a lot of paper house production stuff too. And then these two are also from Paper House Productions. It's a double page layout. I have on um, the 12 by 12 for Mother's Day. Fussy cut these flowers, stamp these flowers. Um, and there's a part two, the side two of it. So it goes like that. I like these size um, eight and a half by eleven. I used to scrapbook like this when I first started. I did both sides sizes, and um, I'm actually get, want to get back into doing more of the eight and a half by eleven. I really like it. I don't take up so much room. I did a few of more of eight and a half by eleven. That was, um, I believe, for my kit, my beach kit that I made, and this was from Scrap Your Trip. This. Um, die cut. I have a double eight and a half by eleven. This was for um, a sketch collaboration with a bunch of girls and there's a video for that one. There's a process video for this and um, if you on mine if you um, underneath the description you can follow the links to the other ladies. There was like 12, 11, 12 of us. So it was from a sketch. It was called Stretch Your Sketch. That one. And then this one, that, that was also for my kit, beach kit. So it was this one. Some paper hop production. I fussy cut these flowers. I like this one. This one's really cute. I really like this size. I'm really thinking about getting, doing mostly this size. Because, so, I don't know. I just like it. It's so cute. It's different, I guess, because I've been doing 12 by 12 so long. And there's a lot of real estate to fill up, I guess. 
This one was not for my kit. This was just a layout. I don't remember if it was a challenge or not. This was a challenge, but I don't remember where. I think it might have been for Mercy Tears. Um, I did want a big prize package. I haven't received that yet. As soon as I get that, I will share that from Mercy Tears. Um, 27 day challenge on um, they had a national scrapbook um, challenge and I did do a bunch of challenges I think I did 10 so that one was to do rainbow so I used my my um, Chamel box of Krenz collection for this one um, there was this challenge was also to do um, I think it was to do a pocket Pages. No, large photos, that's what it was. These pictures are from my old, old vacation about 15, 16 years ago. So I used these two big, large photos I had. And because um, back then it was like the panoramic photos were in, so I took a lot on vacation. I did this companion page and I made a tuck pocket for the brochure and the postcards and the journaling card and stuff like that. So this was taken in Klamath which is um, up north, Northern California, in the Redwood Forest. Really beautiful up there. If you haven't checked it out, you need to go where, I'm, I wanna go again, it's been years. This one, um, I don't remember, it was for a challenge for, um, I think the secret, not so secret, I think so, but I used most of my products from, um, I don't remember which month, I think it was February. No, some of it's not, no this is, some of it, some of it might be for my kit. Um, some of it is I bought these flowers. That's right. And that's from Open, um, Open Book Maggie Holmes collection. Yeah, that is too. A lot of these are. So maybe this one was for my, some of this was for my kit and some of it was for my stash. So, and I do have a couple layouts. This one's a double. And I use products from Cheeky Studio. Um, there are die cuts, and I think this paper collection right here from this card, and this background paper, and these stickers are from Photoplay. These little llamas, really cute. The sun and flowers are all from the Cheeky Studio, and I think these are called, um, I forgot what they're called, something llama. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. Let me look it real quick and see what it's called. Um, oh, called Lots of Llamas. Yeah, they're called Lots of Llamas. So you have to check that out. They have a Facebook group, and they also have their, um, it's www.cheeky, uh, I think it's called Cheeky Studio. I can put the link below. This is these, this paper collection is from, um, I think it's Popsicles and Pandas from Photoplay, but these pandas and the butterflies are also from Cheeky Studio. And this was taken at the Chinese Lantern Festival, or Light Festival, or Lantern Festival, I think it was. No, I think it was Light Festival at um, the park. I was making sure I got this right because there is a Chinese Lantern Festival going on right now. But this is a Light Festival. So, that, I like how that one came out. And then also this one. I think that one was from the die cuts are called pandemonium pandas pandemonium pandas and then these flamingos and flowers and pineapples are and this is also from the cheeky studio and the hearts and that one is called um flamingo something flamingo so um and the banner and then the paper is just random paper i think this one is from um, the Llama Paper Photo Play. And then this one is, I don't remember what collection this is, but yeah. So that's that. Um, let's see. This was a challenge for the Secret Not So Secret to do a large photo. I used this 5x7 photo. I cut it down a little bit. Um, old photo from vacation. When me and my husband were living in Florida, we came here to visit my family. Um, and postcard, cut up some, I bought some of this cocoa, po cocoa, um, 
Coca-Cola paper at um, the Coca-Cola Museum here in Vegas, but they don't sell it anymore. A lot of people ask me about it. I've been hoarding it. I got a bunch of it. I've been hoarding it. So I ran out of the stickers, but I do have the paper still left. So I got that done. Um, this one is uh, was a challenge, but I don't remember which group it was. Um, it's a fussy cut. It's like fussy cut these cameras on the side. And these are from Florida, these pictures at Blue Springs State Park. Here's the other half of it. And then this one. I don't, this one, I, don't, I just think I did it. It might have been for a challenge, but I stamped all these flowers and made a frame with it. Papers from a paper pad. This one was a challenge also, but I don't remember where. To use circles, like I um, went on my silhouette machine and designed these circles. I just made a bunch of different sized circles. And then I cut them out, and then I water. I um, actually watercolored these with gelatos, I believe. And the background, I um, watercolored and mists the background. Put some paper in the back here, folded it over. Yeah, and I think most of this is from um, my, I think it was my May kit? No, it was my, my April kit from the Hip Kit. I haven't even I haven't even touched my main kit. I haven't even used that one item on it. I'm bad. I got it. I've been really busy, so I haven't had a chance to do that. This I'm not sure if it was a challenge or not. It might have been. Um, I painted the background. I think I don't remember where these are from. Bella Boulevard collection. I'm not sure. It's a mermaid collection. Mermaid pirates collection, I believe. So that's that. I like how that came out. And then the rest of these are made from my homemade um, Stash Busters kit from last month in May. I did a separate video on these, so if you've already saw that video, you might not want to watch the rest of this because it's I'm going to show them again. Some people might not have seen them, so I made this double layout Fiesta. This one's kind of it's not that crazy. It's just kind of simple. I was getting to the end of my kit, so I was running out of stuff. Um, I think I made like 20 layouts, something like that, and then I did a couple um, recipe cards. And there's this one. This one's a double layout also. There's a back, and then here's the front of that. So it looks like that together. So every month I'm going to be doing a kit. i actually going to videotape my June kit. Um, I'm running a couple days behind, so... Um, I started a job with Postmates delivering food, and I will actually be doing some blogs and videos on that, and some um, tips and stuff, what to do and what not to do, what stuff like that. I've actually been making pretty good money, so if you want to know about that, leave a comment. I will be doing some videos on that. There's that, and that was made with my kit. And then I have another double lay layout. There's that. And I made a tuck pocket here. I try to use a lot of photos if I can because some sometimes I have a lot of photos for one event and I want to get them all scrapbooked and on the page. There's the other half. I like the purples because the pictures had a lot of purple in there. So I like how that came out. Um, let's see. This is a double, but it's different sizes. Let's see if I can fit it all in. I like this one. I like the colors of this one. The pinks and the um, green. Really pretty. This is, these were all with that um, Cinco de Mayo kit. My May Stash Busters kit. I can link that video below too if you'd like to. Oh, this is a separate one. Sorry. I was thinking there was a double. There's this one. This one's okay. I was running out of products and I wanted to use a lot of photos so I didn't have a lot of room to embellish. But came out. This one, I like this one. This one's really cute. I punched these. I like this font. It's really cute. And these are the tacos I made from my um, Cricut. 
this one. More taco. Well, these ones I fussy cut. Taco truck. And then there's this one. This was uh, this was getting towards the end when I was running out of stuff. These last few ones. This was at Margaritaville. And I'm like this one's okay. I'm not really thrilled with this one, but it's done and scrapbooked and one of my tacos. Yeah, I use that gold. I was trying to use up as much as I could and make them look cute. This was my last one that I did. This was Easter time. I pulled in this font that I didn't have. Okay, here's, I've got a couple more. That one. That was one of the first ones I did. I stamped these flowers, cut them out, and fussy cut this taco truck. And this was a challenge, I believe, on the secret not so secret. Some a couple of these were challenges to use different fonts. I think it was called alphabet soup. So I used that. Fussy cut these circles out of a paper. Oh, I think this was actually a sketch challenge. Yeah, this one was a sketch challenge. But there was one called alphabet soup that I did different titles. I think that was a double page layout that I did. There's this one. Fussy cut these out of the paper. I like this one. It's colorful. And then there's this one. I think this was a sketch also. Mother's Day. Tried to, when I tried to make the kit, I tried to do Mother's Day and Cinco de Mayo, but I didn't do a lot of Mother's Day stuff. It's mostly Cinco de Mayo stuff. I knew I had a lot of pictures from us eating and going out to eat in Cinco de Mayo and stuff like that. So that's why I did this kit. And there's that one. That's the last one. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm already at a thousand and I'm going to be doing a giveaway in the next couple weeks. I'm trying to get it all together. There'll be a separate video for that and I will give you the details. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. I hope everybody has a really fun summer. Have a great day. Bye.